That was Vincent Sombrero and the Cat Gut Quartet with their own composition, Tobacco Trousers. Now, with it fast approaching the midnight hour, I'm off to the all-night jazz club in Margate. So I'll leave you in the capable hands of some new guys to Great Westminster Hospital Radio. It's over now to the sofa sessions. Good to see you guys. Jazz Hour. So here we are, the Sofa Sessions, actually on the radio. Hospital radio. Yes, but it is a proper radio show, not some podcast. Which you're going to end up putting on YouTube with visuals on it, so it's a podcast. Why do you do this every single time? It's like you're trying to ruin the show from the start. Calm down, alright, what are we doing here? What do you mean? It's a gig, a proper one. Well, it's an hour on a hospital radio show, but... Would you like to explain to the listeners what the show is all about? Look, there's nothing wrong with a hospital radio show. There's a lot of sick people need entertaining. Plus, it's a bullseye each. I beg your pardon? A bullseye. 50 quid. And suddenly you've gone all all of a twist on me. Bullseye! I'm uh, I'm going to play a song and hope that all of this makes sense in a minute. This is dedicated for a, a fashion. Seek him here, and they seek him there. His clothes are loud, but never swear. It will make or break him, so he's got to buy the best, cause he's a dedicated follower of passion. And when he does his little round, Eagerly pursuing all the latest fads and trends Cause he's a dedicated follower of fashion Oh yes he is Oh yes he is Oh yes he is Oh yes he is He thinks he is a flower to be looked at And when he pulls his frilly nylon panties right up Oh yes he is, oh yes he is, oh yes he is, oh yes he is. There's one thing he loves and that is flattery. One week he's in polka dots, the next he is in stripes. Cause he's a dedicated follower of fashion. They seek him here, they seek him there. Everywhere the Carnivation Army marches on each one a dedicated follower of fashion. Oh yes he is, oh yes he is, oh yes he is, oh yes he is. His world is built round discotheques and parties. His pleasure-seeking individual always looks his best because he's a Dedicated follower of fashion. Oh yes he is, oh yes he is, oh yes he is, oh yes he is. He flits from shop to shop just like a butterfly. In matters of the cloth he is as fickle as can be. Cause he's a dedicated follower of fashion. A regular match. And we're back. Do you want to take another crack at explaining the show? Yes, thank you. Um, We were asked if we would bring our highly successful sofa sessions to the radio. Hospital radio. They just wanted us to bring our unique blend of comedy and music to their regular lineup here at Westminster General Hospital Radio. Speaking of which, 
here is one of WGHR's adverts. Mr. Sudbra's bespoke condoms of Mayfair. Are your intimate engagements hampered by ill-fitting condoms? At Mr. Sudbury's Bespoke Condoms at Mayfair, we offer an altogether more pleasurable experience. And there's no need for embarrassment of any kind, because our team of specialist fitters are highly trained in speed measuring. You'll be in and out in no time. Just listen to these testimonies. Oh yeah, you hardly notice you're wearing them, they fit so well. Normally they come off, but not Mr Sudbury's. Oh, I think they're perfectly splendid. Mr Sudbury's bespoke condoms of Mayfair. And if you're quick, we're giving a 50% discount to your first 500 orders placed between August 1st and December 22nd, starting at a minimum of 47 condoms per order. Why are we playing Sudbury adverts? We made to measure what? Don't blame me, blame the hospital. Look, I made it really clear in the last podcast, we're done playing his yeah, rubbish. I completely agree. Well, but as it turns out, the hospital has quite a few contracts with the Sudbury Trading Authority. Didn't you notice the Sudbury ward? No. What about his statue at the entrance? No. What? The Sudbury vending machine in the lift? Yeah, but they're everywhere, aren't they? Hang on, hang on. Are you saying Sudbury is in some way affiliated with this hospital? Do you see what it's like, ladies and gentlemen? This is this is what it's like. What? Living with the old man. What does that mean? Well, you're not exactly normal, are you? Once again, rude. You know what, though? You think I'm strange. When I was a kid, my old man had some strange hobbies. I mean, God, can you imagine? I can feel a monologue coming on. Just Um, as a kid. So I'm going to play another song. Uh, This is our version of the madness hit, Embarrassment. Seems almost apt. Received a letter just the other day. to the human race, he says, how can you show your face when you're a disgrace to the human race? to live in endorsement the intention that you had booked was an intention that was overlooked they say stay away don't want you home today keep away from our door She says, I'm feeling twice as old, she says, though she had her head on her shoulder, cause I'm feeling twice as old, I'm feeling twice as old. And 
we're says, back, ladies and gentlemen, sure and as you can probably hear, he's still going. And did I ever tell you about the time the granddad dressed up as a nurse? What? I was 15 at the time, down at the parachute centre in Kent. I swear, if this has anything to do with Paul McCartney... Uh, no. Same parachute club I met him at, though. Perhaps I could no, tell no, no, that no, story. No, 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 no. Why was Grandad wearing a nurse's uniform at the parachute club, and where did he get one? He borrowed it. Remember he worked in the hospital laundry? He borrowed it? Yeah, he took it's it back, though. Don't worry. Good grief. He got it clean and everything. It was a long dress. Carry on. Why did he borrow it? There was a fancy dress party. Okay. Can you imagine it though? I'm 15 years old, in a tent, and the old man is putting on this uniform. He made you watch him change? Yep. I had to tell him if his boobs were straight, you know, make sure they were even. Mind you, he got the right hump when Jock kept putting his hand up your granddad's skirt. That is not a sentence I ever thought I would have to hear. Can we, can we go to an advert while I process that, please? New from Vincent Sombrero comes a smooth reggae treat for everybody. Recorded at the 2018 Jazz and Reggae Festival in Germany for the Sudbury Music Library. Featuring the Cat Got Quartet, Bosco Willie and Nelson Patrick. And guest star, Natty Larry. Eye and Eye. By Vincent Sombrero. Did I just hear Vincent Sombrero? Has he got a new album out? It does sound like it. Wow, that guy amazes me. He puts out the strangest stuff. Yeah, yeah. Should we maybe get back to the show? Yeah, sorry. Um, okay. Right, we've some more messages that were sent in by the listeners. You mean friends of the sofa session? I'm just going to play the clip. Hello, boys. Big fan of the show, especially when the old man's been drinking, eh? Uh, any chance you could play Country Roads by John Denver? Cheers, mate. What does he mean when the old man's been drinking? I hardly ever drink. Well, perhaps he thinks that some of your rambling might be due to an imbibement of alcohol. Well, that's just plain rude. Anyway, here is our version of Country Roads, just for you, Jim. Painted on the sky, misty taste of moon. 
sunshine and teardrop in my eye. Country road, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country road, I hear her voice in the morning hour. She calls me. Radio reminds me of my home far away. Driving down the road, I get the feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, country roads take me home to the place I belong. Here at the Sudbury Institute of Medicinal Care, we care about you, your family, and your pets. That's why we are making this appeal and asking for volunteers for Project Guinea Pig. But we don't expect you to volunteer for free, oh no. We'll give you a crisp, new, £50 note for assisting medical science. 50 quid? What's the catch? No catch, my man. All you need to do is roll up your sleeve and... Uh, did, did you sign the form? Yeah, oh yeah, hang on. Roll up the sleeve, yeah. Right, that's done. Right, now we just... Pop this silly little old syringe into your arm, squeeze down on that plunger there, and here is your crisp new £50 note. What? That's it? Yes, indeed, my man. That's the whole process. And in six weeks, we'll invite you back to get you to fill in a short questionnaire and detail your symptoms. What? Well, that's it from me, but here at the Sudbury Institute of Medicinal Care, we're open from Monday to Friday, 8.30am to 6pm. All inquiries to be made in person or by semaphore and complaints as well. This Friday at 9 o'clock, Westminster General Hospital Radio continues its look at rock through the ages. Join me, Bernie Barracuda, as I turn my eyes and ears on the 80s glam sensation, the Clapham Cowboys. From their meteoric rise to the scandal that destroyed them. And in an exclusive interview for WGHR, we'll hear from the band's original bass player, Randall Crowley. I mean, come on, the drugs, the women, not to mention that there were times when he would just drop off the radar, you know, man, it was crazy, and I had to get out, that's, uh, I had to. Friday night, nine o'clock, WGHR, rock through the ages. So we're back, but to be honest, I haven't got a clue what I was talking about. Oh, nothing new there then, really. Oi! Are you not going to comment on the adverts? I wasn't listening. 
but you're not going to comment on the band mentioned on Rock Through the Ages, perhaps? I didn't hear it. I don't care. Can we play that ad that arrived last minute? The one that just says cafe ad. Yep. <sighs> sure. Oh, bloody hell. What do people think this is? A cafe or something? Another one. Ah, good day, my man. My name is Mr. Sudbury, and I am the proprietor of Cafe Sudbury. Now, as you may or may not know, we appear to be coffee shop rivals, so to speak. Now, what do you say to that? You can wear off shoes, broke a peacock boot, but I welcome uh, my choice cafe. That is not actually what I'm wearing. That's not what best I asked. Best or a Superman, my best man. Or I welcome my choice cafe. Do stop singing. At your I shall not be reggae on like this. Do stop immediately, sir. Cheeky wine was the world go by with a smiley face. I came here for a good old fashioned duel. Muskets and dawn. Like gentlemen, not to spit rhymes and ting. Good day, sir, to you. I say good day. Joe's Cafe, situated at 133 Minnis Road, Birchington, Kent. That was another one of your adverts, wasn't it? No, no it just arrived late. Right. Oh. Well, now it's time for something completely not the same. Whenever life gets you down, Mrs. Brown, and things seem hard or tough, and people are stupid, obnoxious, or daft, and you feel that you've had quite enough, <clears throat> just read. Remember that you're standing on a planet that's revolving, revolving at 900 miles an hour. It's orbiting at 19 miles a second, so it's reckoned a sun that is the source of all our power. Now the sun and you and me and all the stars that you can see Digital. D A B. 
Speaking of something completely not the same, you've been up your tricks again, haven't you? What do you mean? Well, next I'm supposed to play a clip that is supposedly another celebrity caller. Oh, lovely. No, not lovely, because it's just another of your bad impressions, no. isn't it? You... No, I promise it isn't me. Well, it's, it's not who it's labelled as either, is it? I mean, how, 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 do you, how did you do these? Like, do you, did you hire a voice actor, or do you use a voice changer? What is it's it? It's not me. Look, play it. You're tearing me apart, sofa sessions. <laughs> oh, hi there, Chris and Jonah from the Sofa Sessions. It's Tommy Wiseau here. I don't know if you heard my message before, but it was great hearing from you guys. I love what you're doing with the music, and I love the channel. It's always wonderful to hear from a fan. <laughs> right, so my message to you is, as always, the world would be a better place if everybody love each other. It's great hearing from you. Speak soon. <laughs> I did write to him, but he hasn't replied. Uh, yeah, that's uh, lovely, but... Right. Oh, You're sorry. listening to the Sofa Sessions on WGHR. Do we have to keep playing all those Sudbury adverts, by the way? Yes, we do. Here's another one now. <sighs> Mr. Sudbury's Friendly Pharmacy for all your pharmaceutical requirements. Upon arrival, simply pass your personal prescription to one of our professionally trained professionals. And whilst waiting for your prescription, why not peruse the plethora of purchasable products placed pleasingly around our friendly pharmacy? From bespoke condoms to the most fashionable of ENFs, we're sure to have something you didn't know you needed. And why not try one of Mr. Sudbury's patented double cures? Yes, that's right. Thanks to ongoing research at the Sudbury Institute of Medicinal Care and some significant breakthroughs, we are now able to bring you a range of double cure remedies, such as scarlet fever and scurvy tablets, Dizziness and diarrhea patches, African trypanosomiasis and athlete's foot cream compound, to name just a few. So come on, pop down to Mr. Sudbury's friendly pharmacy for all your pharmaceutical requirements. Oh my God! I am so sick of him. <sighs> Play something else, please. That's what, other than a Sudbury advert? Yes. All right, calm down then. Have you taken your medication today? Ah, oh, again? Rude? That's what, three times now? Actually, no, it's two. And the other one was a friend of the sofa sessions, remember? Oh, yeah. Anyway, come on. It must be time for something from my musical youth. You want me to pass the duck sheep on the left hand side? Ah ha 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 ha! See what you did there? Nice one, Centurion. This is Love is Crying. Well, I finally get it together. And my world falls in. Just a little That's the way it's been You don't 
even care You don't want to know me And that I couldn't bear And I can't help crying No, I can't help crying Oh, I've been trying And love is crying from your mate Ninja. Ninja? Who's Ninja? Lil Ninny? From the oh, last yeah, podcast. Yeah. yeah, oh, Groovy. He replied then, finally. Um, I sent him a message saying we were doing another one of these. Did you, um... I, t- I told you to listen to this one, did you? Don't need to, he's just doing an advert for us. Come on. Alright. Uh, Lil Ninny back on the line, yeah. Basically, not as happy as last time. And even more confused, you could say I'm like flu, 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 I'm apoplectic with rage here because like I'm checking through my comment section and basically there's a lot of prayers from my channel saying like who is this old guy you're linking us yeah it's not bad it's like a different kind of music but you know it's not bad but I don't see many people from your channel like saying oh hi I'm new here some really nice like youth music and that so i don't know what happened if like you dropped the ball or if you like didn't play the plug properly if you need another plug we can hook you up with another plug but at the moment very confused and also uh, side note 17 voice messages is a little bit too many especially when 11 of them were asking me if i can rhyme the word sudbury now i don't know what a sudbury is uh, is it like some soapy chocolate bar or is it like some exotic fruit from like I don't know Ecuador or like something but I don't think it's possible without context I'm not even sure if it is possible with context but yeah we need to bang some heads together yeah because basically uh, I'm very confused Well, that wasn't for the show, man. That was just meant for me. I know. That's what I tried to tell you yesterday, but you insisted we play it. (sighs) Just cut to another song, will you? Maybe no one will notice. Hopefully. Hey, you. Out there in the cold, getting lonely, getting old. Can you feel me? Hey, you. Standing in the aisles with itchy feet and fading smiles, can you feel me? Hey you, don't help them to bury the lie. Would you help me 
to carry the stone. They did provide jingles for the show, right? Yeah, but I'd already made one, hadn't I? Well, fair enough, I suppose. <sighs> Time now to go over to our live link up via satellite or something or nothing. And all that. And everything from that there in London. Via <coughs> uh, 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 <coughs> Sorry. It's over now to Marcus Castle for the final of the World Supersonic Acrobatics. Especially magical battle rocket. Oh, hang on, what's it called again? Super acrobatic rocket powered battle cars. What he said. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Mr. Sudbury's international super acrobatic rocket powered battle cars. I'm joined today in the booth by Mr. Dave McRocket. He is. Uh, he'll be. He'll be joining me in commentating now. As you can see, this is the final. It's already well underway. We are. We have Schwabelbach on the German team there, going for a pass up field. But it looks like no, the defenders didn't have it, and it's a pass to Justina. Uh, unfortunately, blocked by. Don't ban me. Don't ban me. Has had a rough season so far. Been going for a lot of goals, but mostly a half. Mostly uh, should be focusing on defense. Uh, I'm. I'm afraid. Don't ban me as a woman today, uh, Dave. But. Uh, yes, it looks like we have some action on the pitch. Don't ban me. Going for the shot oh. and oh, oh, so close but saved by Schwabelbach. It looks like Imperator is going for a wall shot, but it's back towards his own goal. I'm not quite sure what he's thinking there. No. Schwabelbach on the defence. He really is the, the strong arm of the German team here. Justin Ed jumps over the ball. I'm not sure what he's doing. And oh. it's a goal! A goal from Ambassador Grumbles, who I believe is standing in for Stoneface today, That's who right. was unavailable due to a wrist injury. Yes. Now it's a very, it's an arduous sport. This one, uh, you, you cannot, you cannot take these things too lightly. Oh, this, blood. this is a play. They've tasted the blood. It's in the water, and the sharks are flocking. They certainly are. I mean, they can smell it. Can't uh, they, they, it from a mile off, Dave. It's a weak kickoff. For the British team. Oh! Oh, oh they're not oh. going to like that. It oh. looks like Schwabelbach has taken the first German goal here. Now, oh. can they take can another one on kickoff? Don't ban me, takes it in. It's a very nice takeoff. It goes all the way up to the enemy's side. 
Now, it, it's a simple matter. No, I'm afraid it looks like Imperator saved his... No, no, I do apologize. That's Felua. They both appear to be using the same car. Not sure if that's a trademark of their play no, styles I think, or... I think he's psyching him out. It, that's not his normal this this car, is, is a it? war of attrition right here. It's... Oh, oh it passed oh. Grumblebar. All Grumbles has to do is put it... Oh, no. Imperator oh. stole it from Grumbles. Well, that I mean, was quite this. Surprising. I, I, uh, there's I, no honor among thieves, no. it seems, anymore. Right, the kickoff. Oh! I, ladies and gentlemen, um. What's happened? Uh, this has what? gone. What? I, I'm just receiving word. I'm receiving word now. We've. Yet, yeah, that's it. The Germans have stormed out of the stadium. They're done. Oh, well, that's they're, quite... they're finished that's, that's... for the finals I've in Mr. Sudbury's International them, Gold yes. and Platinum Cup. I can't believe it. Oh. England have taken the championship for the first time in 47 years. 48? This is a 48, 48 this year. I, am, I do apologize. This is a momentous occasion. Absolutely. Thank you for being they here, ladies be and gentlemen. I, I cannot imagine the feelings going through their minds right now. Absolutely. This, they'll be telling this one in the storybooks be drinks for in the as long as we tonight. can remember. I, I think, yes. This, this is a momentous occasion. A momentous day indeed in the world of car football. So say we all. So say we all. Hey Jonah, how long has it been since we last saw the lads from Pink Mirrors? You know, I don't know. Um, before quarantine. Yeah. I want to say maybe de December. It's more than three months though. Yeah, you know I do miss them popping around for a jam. You mean you miss bullying Larry and Philip into doing a soap session? <laughs> yeah. Well, mm. since you're missing them so much, let's hear when we had them first appear on the show. Okay. <laughs> on my oh, sofa. What's going on? man. Up? We're just having a session. What do you mean a session? Oh, well, now I guess it's like a sofa session. Uh, now you're talking my language. What are you doing? Me? Yeah. I'm the drummer. Oh, you're the drummer? Yeah. Oh, we should pick a bass up there. Come on. Okay. No, no, no. Go on. It's a five-string bass and with four strings. Oh, it's less to worry about. It should be easier, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Larry. So what are we it. doing? Well, we're doing that one on the screen. The one on the screen? Yeah, yeah. That's where I've been making plans for Nigel. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you know it? Yeah, I do, yeah. Well, we yeah. didn't play the bass. Off you go. Off. We'll see. I hope you know it. I know it. Oh, yeah. I think. Cut it up. Yeah, we should Best for him. We're only 
job just needs this helping hand. my message on to Cobalt, so you never know. Next one, we might have Cobalt on the yeah, show. why not leave him alone now and put your phone down? Sorry. Oh. Listeners, here's an advert. I'll sort this out. <sighs> I'm not a child, you know. Yeah, I'm just saying, we're doing a radio show right now. Then play a song, blimey. One foot in the grave. Oi, is that about me or the song? Yes. They say I might as well make the truth But I am just too long in the tooth So I'm an OAP and we need but I have not yet quite gone to see I may be over the hill now, now that, that I've retired Fading away but not yet expired Trapped out, run down, too old to save One foot in a grave They say I might as well face the truth But I am just too long in the tooth I've started to deteriorate and now I've passed my own termite date Oh I am no spring chicken, it's true I have to pop my teeth in the dew And my old knees have started to knock I've just got too many miles on the clock So I'm a wrinkly, crinkly, set in my ways It's true that my body has seen better days But give me other chance I can still misbehave more of this do we have to do? What? I want to go for a smoke. How long is left of the show? 
No, I'm sorry. Once again, listeners, assuming there's someone still listening. Uh, look, play another song. I'll be back in a minute, all right? I'll be back in a minute. <sighs> and there he goes, the consummate professional, off for a smoke in the middle of a radio show that he wanted to do. I'm only really here because he made such a fuss when I said no. Anyway, here's our version of the Beatles' Octopus's Garden. Octopus's Garden. I'd already cut the music. A fuck. And surprise, surprise, the old man still isn't back. As an interesting side note, and maybe to fill some time, the song you can hear in the background is Far, Far Away, first released in 1974. Now, by that time, Slade had become a big success in the UK, Europe, and beyond. However, the band felt that continuing to provide more of the same wasn't really what they wanted to do. Their manager, Chris Chandler, suggested they do a movie. They agreed at the time, and to accompany the film, Holder and Lee began writing material for the soundtrack album. Far Far Away was selected as the album's lead single and was released in October that year. It hit number one in the charts. No, he's still not back. You're listening to Westminster General Hospital Radio. 97.3.3.3 FM Digital D A B I'm a new day rising, 
I'm a brand new sky that hangs the stars and all tonight. I, I'm a little divided. Do I say or run away and leave it all behind? It sounds like these you learn to live again. It's times like these you give and give again. It's times like these you learn to love again. It's times like these time and time again. Oh. Right, well, since there's still no sign of the old man, it just remains for me Hold on, to... hold on, I'm back! Oh. And now we have to wrap up the show. I got chased by security. <laughs> you been, wouldn't believe it. You've been listening to The Sofa oh. Sessions on WGHR. Oh, and if you're viewing this on YouTube, don't stop. Uh, don't stop watching, that is, because coming up at the end of this, there's a regular Sofa Session. So, yeah, give it a watch. Yes, but if you're listening in the hospital, sorry about that. It's time to wrap up, so goodbye, and thank you for listening. And... And welcome to the end of the podcast. I'm going to point down here, then I'm going to put something in there. And then I'm going to say, oh, you maestro. She came in through the bathroom window. Protected by a silver spoon. Now she sucks up on the wonder. to go what I was supposed to go out and go all the way around out of the hospital 
have a smoke and get back in yes, time. Yes, like everybody else, you go outside. Well, I didn't even get the you smoke. Went looking for a bathroom to smoke in, and you got chased yeah. out by security. Uh, no. What did we learn? Uh, absolutely nothing. And that's Say the, it again. Of the story. Huh? What is it good for? It's the end of the show. I can do what I like. Pretty much. Bye.